Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is May 27, 2015. We're going to start the day off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. And you're going to see that the futures are trading higher by $2.50, right to $2,107.5 per contract. You can see the futures were lower overnight. They have come rolling right back up. And uh, we've seen this before. Yesterday, we did have a pretty good sell-off in the market. We'll see if we get any follow-through today. I'm not really too sure how much downside we'd see today if we do roll over. But uh, either way, uh, markets are still in a vulnerable state right here, at least uh, for the near term. So uh, let's get into some stocks in the news, some stocks that are making noise. And we're going to talk about the first one up uh, is going to be Michael Kors. This stock is getting absolutely hammered to the downside so it has broken all sorts of support levels stock is getting uh, sold off pretty sharply uh, we'll see if it can find some support around fifty dollars I think that's a nice psychological number we'll see if uh, Michael Kors can get a little bit of a bounce there if you're an aggressive trader um, a pierce of fifty dollars is a level where traders can look at otherwise I really don't see all that much here so uh, again, um, you got to be a little bit careful with this. It was a high-risk play, but Michael Kors is getting absolutely slaughtered. Stock closed at $60.59 yesterday. It is now trading at $50.87 at the moment. So um, $10 decline for Michael Kors, and I ultimately think it's going to tag the $50 level. So keep that on the radar today. We'll see if it does get down there. Next up on my uh, chopping block here is Workday, W-D-A-Y. Uh, this stock is getting hit as well. It closed at $92.49. It is now trading at $84.70. The only level I like for this, write this level down, is $80.10, $80.14. Right in there, that's a level I think that Workday could see a little bit of an intraday bounce. Until then, I don't think there's much that you want to do with it. Again, could there be a bounce at some stage? Sure. But again, my most... Uh, my best bet level is going to be $80.14. All right, let's move over to Tiffany's. Tiffany's is making a big move, but this time it's a move to the upside. So good strong pop for Tiffany's. This is going to be a little bit of minor resistance around $93.32. I will have gap resistance levels for this stock posted up in the intraday stock chat room today. So again, if you want those, come on over, take a seven-day free trial. You'll see everything that we're doing straight alongside of us. I'll have those gap levels posted up at 9 a.m. But Tiffany's is making a big, big surge. Powerful gap, reversal gap to the upside. So decent move this morning. We'll see if the stock does have a little bit more upside in the cards. Right now, it is just off of the highs. Stock did trade as high as 92.50. Now trading at 91.50, but it closed at 85.50. So this is a powerful move this morning for Tiffany's. Let's take a look at Toll Brothers. I believe they reported earnings as well. <clears throat> stock is trading at $37 a share. Basically closed at $36.99, so it's not a big mover. Was trading down at $36.50 uh, $36 and has rebounded up a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with Toll at the moment, but it is on our radar to play today. I do have levels on the downside and the upside, but we need to see a little bit more activity, more movement. So again, I'll have these for you. Uh, once you come into the chat room, we'll talk about levels for Toll Brothers today. Uh, I do expect some movement out here, and um, we probably will get to see something. So, again, this is going to be in play today, but it is not uh, really ready right now. So, again, we're going to watch Toll Brothers. We'll see how it plays out. This is a stock we will look to play today in the intraday stock chat. So, again, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial. You'll see everything that we're doing. You see our desktop live. And um, we've had a sensational 2015. Let's take a look at TiVo. I believe they reported earnings as well. Stock was trading at 1036 by the closing bell yesterday. Now trading at $10.75. So this is a good little uptick for TiVo. Um, right now, if I were to give you some levels, uh, if this stock can get above 1085, 1090. Uh, then it has upside to around $11.30. 11 11.30 though, there should be quite a bit of resistance. So just be aware of that. Now earlier we talked about Michael Kors. Here's some stocks that are trading in sympathy to the big decline to Michael Kors. So Michael Kors is getting absolutely hammered. But look, you could take a look at stocks like Coach, COH. You could take a look at stocks like FOSL, Fossil. You could take a look at stocks like Kate Spade. K-A-T-E. These are all trading down in sympathy to Michael Kors. So again, 
Be careful there with the apparel retailers. Um, they're all getting hit today, and um, they are trading down in sympathy to Michael Kors, which was a leading stock last year. This year, not so much. So again, we'll see how this all shakes out. Let's go over to the gold market this morning. Gold is trading down a dollar thirty to eleven hundred and eighty-six dollars and fifty cents an ounce. Let's take a look at the all-popular GLD, and you're gonna see the GLD is trading at one fourteen today. Um, it closed at one thirteen ninety-one. Still not a lot I want to do with gold at the moment until I get more of a pattern. Uh, crude futures are trading down about nineteen cents at the moment to fifty-seven dollars and eighty-four cents a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, you're gonna see that. Is just trading right around 1955, closed at 1969 yesterday by the closing bell. So, again, there's not a lot we're going to do with gold or oil today. Remember, those stocks or those oh, commodities are affected um, predominantly by the U.S. dollar. And today, you do have the U.S. dollar trading up just a little bit, you know, from yesterday's close. You can see. It's uh, right now trading at 97.76. So um, not much we're going to make out of it. There should be a lot of resistance for the dollar right around 98. That could help the market if the dollar starts to move back down. So keep all of this on the radar today. There's a lot going on here. And once again, you're more than welcome to come over, take a seven-day free trial, trade right alongside of us, and you'll see everything that we're doing. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.